this trick actually feels like cheating when it comes to re-rolling your items and Mobalytics has revealed a gear fxs chart which will be linked down in the description below which is going to show you all the possible roles on item for all of the classes so for example helms can roll with these stats and then all the classes can roll with these type of stats that you can see here now what is the hack or the cheat if you think about what you see here, I'm quite sure you can come up with this. Now, let's go to rings because I prepared something here. You can see that rings have the possible roles for all of the classes to have critical strike chance, critical strike damage, and so on and so forth. But depending on the class you are playing, like Barb, Druid, Necro, Rogue, and Sork, the rings that you find or re-roll can actually roll other stats on top. So for Barb's, rings can also have Fortified Gen, Max Fury, Physical Damage, Damage to Bleeding, Damage While Berserking. And for all of the other classes, rings can roll much more stuff on top of the all classes uh, possible roles that you can see up top. Now, what is the cheat here or what is the, the trick that you can do? Let's say you are running a Sork and you want, for whatever reason, you want to uh, go for more lucky hit chance, for example, which is in the all classes role. Now on your Sork, if you would be r rolling for this on the ring, you would have a possibility for the all classes roles. So you will have a chance to roll from these plus the pool that is available to Sorks. So your pool is much, much higher than if you would go and roll this on your Barb because the Barb will have way less possible rolls in the pool of rolls uh, for your ring. So what you are going to do is you are going to um, find an item that you need and want on your Sork and then you are going to create a uh, barb, which is going to be level one. And you will complete a dungeon, which is going to unlock the occultist uh, for you. But the dungeon have to has to have um, unlock tied to it for the codex of power. And therefore will unlock the occultist even on like level one, two, three, however level you are going to hit when you are unlocking that dungeon. Therefore, unlocking that Codex power and therefore unlocking the Occultist. So to recap, if you find something on the sword real quick and you want more max life on it because the ring is almost perfect, but you are missing max life, then you would go on to your Barb Tune and or your Barb Alt and reroll that same ring, but on your Barb, trying to fish for the maximum life, which is going to have a way higher chance of your curing because the pool of the stats on the barbarian is going to be way smaller than it is on the sword. Now to demonstrate this, I have a ring here that I found on my sword. You can see that by the maximum mana roll and on my softcore characters, I just jumped here very quickly because there I actually have alts and you can now see that if I put this into the enchant item, you can see that the maximum mana is here for me to reroll. So if we were to reroll this now, you can actually see that we can get another maximum mana. Let's replace that and reroll again. You can see that we could roll damage to dazed enemies. And now going back to our infographic, you can see that for Sorks, you would have maximum mana in the pool. But we rolled damage to dazed enemies, which is only in the pool for rogues. So with this, you actually have the possibility to game the system in your favor. And I definitely foresee this being a very viable strat for re-rolling high-end items to have an easier time of getting the... Um, affix that you need to complete your item. This method can also be used to get affixes that your class wouldn't even be able to get. For example, on Rogue, you can roll on the chests 
in addition to all of these stats that are available to all the classes, on the rogue you can roll uh, dual wielded weapons and skills that swap to new weapons as an epic. Barbs will love these stats because they are actually also dual wielding and they will use a certain builds will use uh, skills that swap to new weapons with the uh, weapon arsenal system. So if you are on your barb and really need to unlock a um, another damage ethic for uh, for you to say, if you don't really want any skill damage for brawling or weapon mastery and your ring um, needs dual wielded weapons or skills that swap to new weapons for whatever reason, go and create a rogue do the Codex of Aspect dungeon real quick to unlock the Occultist, or maybe you already have an old setup that has the Occultist unlocked, and take your whatever. In this in this uh, scenario, you would take the chest, give it to the Rogue, and then you are actually able to roll dual-wielded weapon damage or damage with skills that swap to new weapons. Yeah, I hope this was very helpful to you. And if you like content similar to this, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I'll see you next time.